I've examined your blood. It's a bit of a mystery. You all have the same blood type, O negative, but that might just be a coincidence. For some reason, the virus doesn't react to your T cells the way it does to others. It doesn't mutate, it doesn't duplicate, it just dies. The only possible way to make someone else immune would be a complete blood transfusion. Not a practical solution, as it would likely result in your death. Good. Now, this is what I do know. It appears to be a strange mutation of a degenerative neurological disease endemic to this region, Kuru. It's a prion disease, like mad cow, only it affects humans, and was first discovered among the indigenous tribes that practiced cannibalism. The infected natives were brought in by their kinfolk, but the kinfolk weren't sick. The question is, why? What's the connection between you and them? Does their blood possess antibodies yours doesn't? The answer could save thousands of lives. I heard they left their village and set up camp somewhere nearby. I'm sure they're not far. I need you to find them and convince them to allow you to take some blood samples. Can you do this? Okay. I want to take blood samples, but they won't allow it. For you see, blood is sacred to them. I, I try to explain, but I'm afraid I offended them. Thank God you made it in time. Remember me? Okay, hurt to take a look.
outsiders. Come close, please. I need oleander blossoms. They are needed so we won't become one of them. We can end our lives and leave this earth and go to the dream time. Will you help us? How can I say no? Oleander grows in well-lit places. Thanks. If you find more, feel free to bring it to me and I will give you something in return. You did it. Incredible. I won't ask how. However, I will need time to do my work. Perhaps you'd be willing to help us out here for just a bit longer? I can't afford to lose any more people. We're running out of aluminum potassium sulfate, and its use is crucial to our research. Can you get me that chemical from the warehouse? Aye. Do be careful with it. We can't really tell whether the drugs actually help the infected. Transformation takes place so quickly it's impossible to take a proper sample. John and Nick agreed to test the drugs on themselves, but we don't have the results yet. Ah, okay, what the hell? All right. We managed to lock a few of the infected in the stockroom. You need to draw the sample from their muscle tissue. But hurry, if they mutate any further, it'll be too late. in here.
do be careful with it. We're so close. That's it! Yes, you did it! Very impressive, thank you. This may furnish a few pieces still missing from the puzzle. The pieces are starting to fit together. Kuru is endemic among the native population here. But the incubation period can take up to 12 years. Many of the natives here have built up an immunity which keeps the virus latent even longer. But this new virus is very different. It goes full-blown within hours. I think I may be able to create a vaccine, but to do so, I need a stable version of Kuru that hasn't yet mutated. Can you help me with that? Let's do it. You must find someone from Ope's clan. Someone who hasn't had any contact with the infected and get a sample of their blood or tissue. Speak with the shaman, because I don't know if anyone like that even exists. All right, then. Now you just need to find someone from Opie's clan who hasn't had contact with the infected. And they don't even have to be bloody alive. So they have a practice here where they embalm the dead, turn them into mummies, right? You just need to find one of these mummies and take a sample. Listen to me. Emily is still alive. We still have a chance to save her. Welcome, great warriors. Every person in my village ate the flesh of the immortals, but many did not resurrect. The spirits are angry with us. The only warriors left are in the tombs of our ancestors. It is in the mountains near our village. Take me to your boat, and I will lead you. Far before the first of my kind walked the land, before this world even existed as it is, there was another time, the dream time. In this time, nothing had substance, and there was no life or death. We existed without fear, without pain, without purpose. We travel there in our sleep, for the dream time is always with us, waiting in the darkness. The spirits who watch over us rose from deep within the void and darkness and created the sky and the sea and the land and everything alive and everything that isn't. The great serpent who created the sea and great mother who gave us life still watch over us. Do you see them? There! <laughs> Mortals, the resurrected, their spirits remain on this plane. They live in both worlds, the dream time and our time. That is why they are sacred.
They consume us to become one with us. For they are the... Another one! Don't let them... Stop. Understand? They worship these bloody things. They ain't be infected to become resurrected. So I'm afraid you might have some problems with this shaman. Keep an eye on him, right? Come. I'll wait in the boat, but hurry up, okay? This place is evil as evil can be, brothers. Sacrifices for the spirits at this altar. Look at that. There, I see one. Here is my village. Angry spirits are everywhere. Stay close to me. Maybe we will avoid a fight. My resurrected brothers are great warriors.
Follow me quickly. We must leave the village at once. Whispers are a warning. Do you see them? to get to the other side. They want to stop us. They destroy the lever. Get to the second lever and use it. Be careful. Back 
spirits. Stay away. See that man? That was fucking voodoo. Not a living dead shit. I don't see any bite marks. If she didn't eat those stiffs, then she's probably fine. And what if she ain't fine? Maybe you should ask her, huh? Hey, show it. We have some zombie for lunch? She's saying something. I had to. Everyone had to. They believe if they'd eat. They would live forever. We have to take her with us. First, we need to find them damn mummies. Shit. Over here! Now what? Fuck. Let's get the hell out of here! <laughs> 